On this episode of You Eat, we'll be making meatballs and Italian wedding soup. Such an easy and tasty recipe to keep you nice and toasty on those cold winter nights. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 21st episode of You Eat. I'm so excited as usual to have you here today, and I'm really excited about today's recipe. As it's getting colder and colder here on the East Coast, you know what that means. No soup for you! Soup's on, that means we're going to be making soup today. And we're going to be making one of my all-time favorites, really brings me back to my childhood, and it's going to be Italian wedding soup. It's a really simple, quick soup recipe to make. The hardest part is making the meatballs. Um, but we're going to be making it's a meatball, it's a beef meatball recipe with chicken stock, a mirepoix, and escrow. And it's really delicious. I'm ready to make some Italian wedding soup. Are you ready to make Italian wedding soup? Here we go. Print this and all our recipes on YouEat.tv. We'll start by smashing some garlic and adding it to the pan with some extra virgin olive oil. Lightly brown and remove garlic and set aside. Turn off flame and cube one slice of white bread. Remove crust. The smaller the cubes, the better. Crack two eggs into a bowl and beat them together. You're going to add the cube bread crumbs and incorporate that well together. After incorporating the bread into the egg, you can add the Pecorino Romano cheese and fresh chopped parsley. And let's mix that all nice together. It's going to be thick at this point and that's where the water comes in. You're only going to add one to two ounces of water. You want the consistency to be almost like a mayonnaise. That looks good. We're going to take the roasted garlic and we're going to chop it up finely. We're going to add that to the mixture and blend that in. We'll season it with some salt and pepper. And we're ready to add the ground beef. We're just going to blend that in nicely. We don't want to over mix it. Now I don't have an exact measurement of the breadcrumbs because you're never going to get exactly a pound or a pound and a half of meat. The eggs are always different sizes so I like to add the breadcrumbs to the consistency that I like. Now that's a meat the bowl. Uh, maybe it's still a little soft. I have to add more breadcrumb. With a little trial and error you'll locate the right consistency for the meatball. Yep this is ready to go now. Let's make our mini meatballs. Leave a comment if you can guess how many mini meatballs that I made. Well, making the meatballs takes the longest, but it's definitely worth the wait. What I like to do to speed up the process is I roll half the meatballs and then I start to cook them. While they are cooking, I roll the rest of the meatballs. Make sure that you give the meatballs a good shake and I use a little bit of extra oil to make sure that they don't stick too much to the pan. It's okay to have a little extra oil. In a little bit, I will show you how to remove the extra oil from the soup. You want to make sure that you're giving it a good shake and then flip over any meatballs that didn't turn on their own. You're not going to cook them perfectly. We try to brown them on each side. Okay, we will remove the first round of meatballs and start adding the second round. And now we're done with those. We'll get started on our mirepoix. To refresh your memory if you missed any previous episode, a mirepoix is two parts onion, one part celery, and one part carrot. For this recipe, I like to dice up the vegetables as small as possible. So do your best. And then once we cut up the onion, we're going to fill up one cup. And we'll add that to the pan. Now the pan, don't forget, we roasted the garlic in the olive oil. We cooked our meatballs in the olive oil. There's a lot of flavor. Now we're going to do the same thing with the celery. We're going to fill up a half a cup. And we'll add the celery to the pot. And then we'll do the same thing with the carrots. We'll fill up a half a cup as well. I used about three quarters of an onion, three celery stalks, and three carrot sticks. We'll put the flame back on and we'll cook our mirepoix about 50%. We're going to add some fresh thyme. We're just going to pull the leaves from the stem. We'll season with a little salt and pepper. Once your mirepoix is ready, you can now add three quarts of chicken stock. 
We'll add some salt to our boiling water and we'll add Dittalini pasta. This is my favorite pasta for soups. We'll put the meatballs back into the soup. We'll bring that to a boil and we'll simmer for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we will cut and clean our escarole. We'll cut down to the core, not all the way. It gets a little bitter. I'm gonna add a little fresh parsley to the soup. Time to drain the pasta. I cooked the whole box and I'm gonna cool this off immediately so it stops cooking. We cooked it about 75%. Then I'm gonna package up the rest and I'm gonna use it as needed. We're gonna put the chopped escarole, we're gonna fill it up with water and we're gonna rinse that really well. We'll drain it and I like to repeat this process two or three times to ensure there's no sand. To remove the excess oil, we're going to make a little window and then we're going to glide the soup spoon along the edges and the oil will fill into the spoon before the soup will. It takes a little practice, do a little at a time, and you want to have a little bit of the oil remain in the soup. Now we're going to cook the escarole for about two minutes. We want to make sure that the leaves are still green when we eat them. Okay, we're just about ready. We're going to turn off the flame. We're going to add two tablespoons of Pecorino Romano cheese. And that's it. We're done. Let's get this in the bowl. All you need to do is sprinkle some Pecorino Romano cheese on top and you're ready to eat. Italian wedding soup. You eat? You want to eat? Make this recipe. It's delicious. It wasn't that difficult, was it? So it's time to taste the soup. I keep the stock, the meatballs, and the vegetables together. Uh, and then I cook, put the pasta on the side and I'll just add the pasta to the soup when I'm ready to eat it. Let's give this a shot. Really good. The difference between cooking the meatballs in a pan and, and browning them and then just dropping and dropping them in the water. You don't get all that all that flavor that you render from when you're cooking them. And when you take them out, put them on the side, and you actually deglaze them with the vegetables. This is really yummy. You gotta try it. Thank you for watching today. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next Wednesday. Tell your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. See you next Wednesday. You want to try the soup? The soup is unbelievable. Did you try the soup? Not yet, Pop. I will. I can't wait to have some of that wedding soup. Did you have some soup? Good. You like the soup? Oh. That was the best wedding soup I ever had. Stop! <laughs> some soup.